Hey, what's up guys? Dr. Feel Good here, back again with another video prescription. And today I want to talk about the recently announced Joy-Con battery pack that was shown off in the recent Nintendo Direct. I don't know about you guys, but I think they're pretty cool. I know some of you are probably thinking, well, Dr. Feel Good, it seems kind of pointless since the Joy-Con battery lasts up to 20 hours. I want you to keep in mind up to. I'm not saying they don't last. I'm not here to be the naysayer and say they only last five hours. Nothing like that. But up to about 20 hours. Now I'm pretty sure if you're playing some type of vibration or HD rumble sensitive game. And you're playing it in tabletop mode. It may not last 20 hours. They may not, okay? I'm just saying. It's a possibility. I have not experienced that. Let me add that in there. I have not experienced them, you know, lasting only roughly 5 to 10 hours. I have not. And I've had to switch since launch. And I play with the Joy-Cons almost, I would say, over half the time, okay? I will say that in my humble opinion, and I have no evidence of this, but just thinking objectively, I think the battery aspect of the attachment was secondary and not primary. Okay? Here's my reasoning behind that. We know the Joy-Cons can last up to 20 hours on a single battery charge. Okay? Nintendo probably wanted to, with the release of ARMS, of course, since this game supports both standard controls and motion controls, I think we can all agree that it has a stronger emphasis on motion controls. Right? With that said, thinking about the HD rumble, the constant connection of motion control and things like that, they probably want to give people they want they want to give people a more comfortable way to play with the joy cons for a longer or extended period of time nothing's wrong with that okay i know some of you are now thinking well the joy cons actually come with an included you know wrist strap extender yeah that's for the shoulder it does make it a tad bit larger and easier to hold but in the grand scheme of things, they still are as flat as an NES controller. Let's be honest. They're ergonomic, but to a certain extent. Giving these things a little more heft, a little more girth, is better for those that have bigger hands. Okay? It doesn't just extend the shoulder um, aspect of the Joy-Con controller. It also makes it thicker you know, as far as underneath the depth of it. I mean, I hate to say this. Yeah, it may feel more like holding a Wii remote or a dildo in hand. I don't know. Sue me, okay? <laughs> for, for that example. I'm simply saying you have more to hold on to, all right? Now, what will be the purpose of making a thicker attachment that adds more girth, all uh, three, 360 degrees of more girth to the Joy-Con controller, but that's all it does. It's just nothing. It's just a big attachment and nothing more. That space can be used for something, right? So why not just add in the ability to extend the battery life? It's not necessary. I completely know that and I completely agree. However, I would rather them make use of that space then simply add some big clunky plastic add-on that makes the Joy-Con more ergonomic and easier to hold, thicker for those with bigger hands, and it not serve a dual purpose. And you may be thinking, well, this may be the reason why that attachment is more expensive. You're right about that. But i rather it serve a dual purpose than just be an empty shell. Like, for example, to me... And I'm pretty sure most of you can agree. But in my opinion, 
the Nintendo Switch should have came with the charge grip. Having just a controller grip, the Joy-Con grip, and that big block in the middle basically serves no purpose. That is dumb. That's dumb. I get it. It's a smart business decision in terms of keeping more money in your pocket. But all a charge grip does is add a small USB-C port to the top of it so you can charge them. I'm just simply saying, to me, it should have been included. But that big, the, the included grip is nothing but a big-ass plastic housing. That's it. It serves no purpose other than that. So I think Nintendo made a great decision to make it to where this newly created at attachment for the Joy-Cons has a, a secondary or dual purpose. And I'm OK with that. I'm OK with that. This may not make sense to you guys, but to me, as I said, this is my logic, my opinion. I, 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 I didn't get this from an insider or some obscure website you never heard of before. Shout out to Mr. T for that. <laughs> but. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, whether you agree or disagree, and as I always say, keep it gaming.